welcome to this daily video devotional here on Monday, or whichever day you're watching it is fine too. I was reading out of Genesis this passage, and it, it struck me uh, something within it. And this is uh, from Genesis chapter 17. This is about God's covenant with Abram, who becomes Abraham in this passage. It says this in, ver in chapter 17 of Genesis. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am El Shaddai, or, or God Almighty. Walk with me and be trustworthy. I will make a covenant between us and I will give you many, many descendants. Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, But me, my covenant is with you. You will be the ancestor of many nations. And because I have made you the ancestor of many nations, your name will no longer be Abram, but Abraham. What catches my attention here is the ancestry. Who are those who will come after Abram, or now Abraham? Who will come after him? Because they're part of the covenant too. God is making this covenant with Abram. But in so doing, it's implied that God is making a covenant with all those who will come. Now, as I read this and knowing the rest of Scripture, part of me sits there and goes, God, do you know? <laughs> do you know what you're getting into? Because these are people, and we're part of that, right? These are people who are going to time and time again disappoint you. They're going to worship other gods. Sometimes they're going to look like calves, golden calves. Sometimes they're going to look like deities on an altar. Sometimes, you know what, they're going to look like credit cards or, or shoes or malls. Do you know what you're getting into, God? Of course, the reality is we know that God does know what he's getting into. And yet he does it anyway. God wants so deeply to love that God is willing to go through time after time after time of disappointment. When I was uh, getting ready to have our kids, my dad made a joke to me, kind of a joke, but it ended up being very true. He said, Brian, if you wait until you're ready to have kids, you will never have kids. Because the reality is, there is along the way disappointments. Parenting comes with pain, too. The first time your kids tell you that they hate you, I'm not exactly looking forward to that moment. First time you watch your kids make a mistake that you know is a mistake, you're telling them it's a mistake, and yet they're making their own choices and their own mistakes anyway. But you know what? I wouldn't change it for the world. I wouldn't change parenting for the world. It's, it's an amazing experience. How much more so does God relish being our perfect father? You see, we're part of the lineage of of Abraham. You know the song, right? Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. See, we, we are part of that. And we're also ones who will, from time to time, disappoint God. That's hard to admit. But here's what we see time and time and time again in Scripture, is that when we disappoint God, God does not walk away. God's covenant with us is forever.
talked about it yesterday. If you didn't have a chance to watch the devotional from yesterday, go back and watch it. When even one sinner returns, there is a party in heaven. We are part of Abraham's lineage. We're part of Abraham's covenant. May we rejoice. And may we worship a God who is El Shaddai, God Almighty. Amen.